Good morning. What's up? Today is a very exciting video because I'm finally conquering my worst fear. Going on a date. I know it may sound ridiculous, but it is my worst fear. I am terrified at sitting across someone, a total stranger, with one specific intention in mind to get to know them romantically. I am not that person. I quiver, I stutter, I just freeze. Like that, I just freeze. I don't want that to happen. And I'm scared of saying something so epically stupid that he might think, oh shit, I've got a weird one. And then I realized that I must conquer it. Not for the sake that I have been single for 22 years, but for the sake that I just want to conquer it for my own pride. Hashtag girl boss. And it just so happens that today is National Singles Day and I get to have an excuse to have fun with my friends. So yeah, we're gonna do it. But first, we're gonna need to understand what I like. What I like in a date. First things first, I don't like getting forced to sit across someone for the whole night, for the whole entire evening. I need to do something in the first day. Because it's a stranger. I, I'm awkward with strangers especially when i know that i have an intention going there so i must do something active like go to the beach go to the mu a museum go to a concert go somewhere where i am not required to sit for hours since we still need to make this a date and we still need to find a way to make this work in an island there are no museums in the island there are no concerts in the islands i think a picnic would be nice since it's not really in a four-walled restaurant, I think it would be less confining and it would be less awkward for me. So yeah, picnic. So yeah, we're going to a picnic and I get to finally have an excuse to cook. We all know I'm not the greatest cook. I burned a fried egg. I'm just praying to the gods that I won't lose my sanity while making this video because the whole premise of this video is making me lose my shit. But, hashtag YOLO. So, come on, hop in on the insanity train and let's make my ideal first day. My mother and I are not really great cooks, but my mom used to be a great cook, but when we moved to the island, a lot of things had to change. She had to work 24 hours a day. I was sent to a Catholic school where I lived with a nun, so she technically didn't have to cook for anyone else. So her cooking skills were put in hold. And unfortunately, it was permanently. However, this during the COVID season, we are forced to cook for ourselves. And thankfully, by the grace of God, we are learning. Thank God we're a family of fast learners. So now we're going to cook the burgers. I already made the burgers last night, so the only thing we need to do now is cook them and assemble them. I hope I don't burn down the house. Look at my burger, you guys! Look at it! 
I'm gonna make the dessert sandwiches off cam and I'll be right back. Wait, fresh. Here's my outfit. Let me finalize everything and we're finally going. threw my phone away and my cameras away everything away because i had fun can a girl have fun it's a habit that i'm that i'm thankful that i have i usually don't touch my phone or my cameras whenever i talk to people and actually interact with them because it's very distracting it's very rude so i did we watched the sunset we drank some wine we had conversations, beautiful conversations. And maybe I would get to experience that with you, like a one-on-one -on -one date. But for now, since I did fuck up, let's put that out there. I did fuck up. I didn't film as much as I should to make a 13 minute long video. I guess that this video would not just be a favorite date, but like a ideal dates plural so, hindi lang isang date multiple dates that i can do here sa island that i can tolerate that i yeah yeah see dates make me stutter but after this i plan on doing the second date that i would willingly do if ever if ever it's going to be a beach date pero hindi yung beach date na Nasa buhangin lang. Like a super active beach date, like diving or snorkeling. And it's a good way for me to show you what's underneath this island. My videos are turning into like a long advertisement for Apple Island. But I'm a sim for Apple Island, so it really makes sense. Anyway, we're going to the beach later, mga four or five onwards. And we're going for a snorkeling session. I'm not gonna bring my phone with me because I tend to lose a lot of shit when I go to the beach alone. So I'm just going to grab a small GoPro and just film everything there. I'll fold the stuff, we're going to the beach, and we're gonna have fun. Gonna have fun, but first I need to fold this clothes. So bye. <laughs> to the all too well 10 minute version for 30 minutes straight i listened to it thir three times in a row and i cried three times in a row and i think it's the most appropriate way to end this video a heartbreak now i was in high school going to my 20s i tried to hate taylor swift even though i secretly loved her music somehow 
feminine things aren't cool. Cool if a girl likes to play video games. It's cool if a wear likes to wear boyish clothes. It's cool if a girl is athletic. It's cool to have masculine hobbies. But it's not cool when you have feminine hobbies. Like if you like Twilight. Like if you love to wear revealing clothes. You don't like sport at all. When I was young, I was engineered to think I wasn't cool for liking girl things when I myself am a girl. And Taylor was one of those things that I tried to hate because I did not want to be one of those girls. But I am. I am one of those girls and there's nothing wrong with it. I love makeup, I love girly things, not really sporty. And it's okay. So in the spirit of love, since we are already making this video about my ideal dates, I will share to you a poem. I don't even know if it's a poem. It's just something I wrote in my journal. God knows how I did it, but apparently maybe I was in love at that time. And I'm gonna share it to you just to tie the knot in this video and to prove to you that I actually can be in love. No, I'm not that cold-hearted. I actually can fall in love, okay? Since I'm already breaking borders, let me break it some more and show you something personal. So this thing, I have no idea when I wrote it. Maybe back in 2019 or early 2020s. But it's actually good. It's actually good. I'm not even lying. It's like something that I would enjoy reading. You can tell I'm a humble person. I'll read it to you. Wait, I'll show it to you first. It's next to my short, like, summary of the solar system. I am obsessed with the solar system since I was a kid, so I had to put it in my journal. And the thing is right next to it. It's entitled Marlboro Reds. And you can tell that I've read this so many times because it has a lot of corrections. And now, I'm gonna read it to you. So it starts. Our love used to be beside two parked cars near a bridge. We would meet at 1 a.m. when everything was quiet. The same coffee and a different playlist. I enjoyed every second I spent with you. I regret nothing and loved everything. Your laugh, your kisses, heck, even your Marlboro scent. And God, I wish I didn't, because now, whenever someone smokes next to me, I would instantly remember where our love used to be. Ah! I don't know who the fucking person is, but that's not me. While making this video, I realized one thing, how comfortable I am with myself and how okay I am in being alone. I don't see being alone as a lonely thing. And I think that stems from the fact that I'm not really alone. Even though I don't have romantic love, I have my family who's incredibly loving and supporting. I have my friends who are equally loving and supporting, even to the point that they're supporting me in this new venture. Shout out to my friends, to Camille, Robbie, Hania, and to Alexis, and Rian, and to every person that I know and love. Thank you. And even to the new friends that I've made during the quarantine. Thank you so much. To Farrell, who's always been sharing my videos on Facebook. Thank you. You don't need romantic love to be in love. There are so many forms of love. Though they might be different, they're all equally important.